Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. Bishop Oyedepo backs at hashtag and says protest says enough is enough. All right. Bishop David Oyedepo of Living Faith Church Worldwide has joined the call for an end to the special anti-robbery squad. Oyedepo, who spoke on Sunday at Canaan Land, said that the youth have a right to express their displeasure and pains. The cleric said he was silent over the protest because he warned Nigerians in 2015 but was humiliated. He said, we have been having spates of protest across the nation. Every man has a right legitimately to express their displeasure and pain. Everybody does. Amen. I kept quiet for a while because in 2015, I want this nation vehemently, consistently because I saw the danger ahead and you can tell. The most gruesome reason in the history of this nation is the last five is the last five years where lives have no value, quantum killing. Now they have faced the youth, and because they don't quantum killing, now they have faced the youth. And because they don't know who is next, they have a right to say enough is enough. Any system that has no value for human rights is irrelevant. If they were killed when they were youth, will they be where they are today? And now, it would be a sacrilege to shoot the protesters who are not looting, who are not ravaging. When you push a goat to the wall, then you will know that goats have teeth to bite. It is a sacrilege to kill youth during a protest. This protest is legitimate, he added. Well, Pastor Oyedepo has spoken on this one. Well, and that is it. Well, we just need to say a very big thank you to all the youth. And in fact, we need to applaud these youth. They have been doing great jobs on this one. Right now, as we speak in every church, in fact, in my church this morning, my pastor was like, wow, we need to applaud this youth. In fact, youth are doing great in this country. That what the elderly ones could not do before now. And God has just opened the eyes of the youth to have been able to tackle the issue that is being faced by Nigerians. And um, as it is, he's saying that everybody needs to do this with carefulness because the plans the government have towards Nigerians, in fact, most especially the Nigerian youth nowadays, they are not friendly at all with what is going on. They are not happy. And that is it. These people are not happy, but the youth needs to, the youth need to, be very careful in their protest. And thank God the protest has been a free and a peaceful protest since they have started. And uh, he said another thing that he understands about the youth uh, is that the youth, even with what has been going on, with the level to which you know, they have been, they have stopped their jobs. And in one way or the other, some politicians try to give them food you know very definitely if you are doing something like this you will need funds you will need to eat and all that so to the extent some politicians brought food to them they rejected the food they said we are not eating your food they better they prefer to eat the food that was given to them by the people they know and which is from the youth like them you understand that is to tell you that nigerians in this manner right now, they are trying to tell us that it, any anyhow you want to do it, that is not relating this to politics right now that they want to buy your votes. You understand? With money and you know, giving you foodstuffs and all that. Say, with the level to which we are now, our mumu don't do. Oh my God. Our mumu, when he was explaining this, I was like, wow, that's a great one. Say, the youth as it is right now, they are not ready to relax. 
they are wise enough to make decisions and you can you can we can't sell our our right we can't sell our vote we can't sell our life our entire life for food no it can never happen anymore and that now takes me back to that story of which it was gathered that MC Oluomo, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Worker Chairman, brought some food to the youth. And in the end, when they re when they discovered that it was from uh, MC Oluomo, of which before then it had been gathered that MC Oluomo sent some talks to disrupt the protest, the peaceful protest, of which MC Oluomo later denied the allegation that he did not do that that did not happen that why would someone like him that is even contesting against what is happening in the country send talks but even at that people did not believe everything he said because they who now sent these talks that's fact. as far as the country is concerned we need to be very careful we need to be very careful and then um, bishop david Oyedepo in his word has said that the reason why he did not even come out as he just he just kept mute and was watching was because he had told them in since 2015 what they were supposed to do so that this kind of problem that is coming up now will not happen and now that is happening he was not referring back to 2015 and you know what that means that is to tell you that the words of the prophets in fact, some people will tell you don't listen to some people, they are fake. And they see, they say the word of God will never go mm, on unfulfilled. Definitely, it will fulfill every every part to which he has you no know, come to life. And that is it. Well, the thing is, we should just pray that these protests will yield good results in the end. Because I don't understand why the federal government. Uh, uh, well, they said they have done some things towards it, but what the youth are agitating for right now is even more than what the federal government is thinking they have done. There is a list of 23 agenda that the youth want right now, that if the federal government will be able to listen to those needs, why not? 23 of them. I went through the 23 of those needs by the youth. I was like marveled. Was like, wow, this is great. Hmm, nice initiatives. So we pray that the good Lord will make the the country a better one. And since it's still on a free protest, and tomorrow being Monday, a lot of Nigerians are even joining. Some majority of people are even leaving their jobs now. They are like, hmm, we. How do you want us to cope? Now, okay, you are telling us to go to work. How much is even our salary? We need to face this once and for all, so that we'll be able to have a better living. And that is it. Well, that is it, my people, on this one. Meanwhile, let me have more takes from you on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.